हेलो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो देखो इस वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे कि शुड यू चूज वेटनरी साइंस और शुड यू चूज एनिमल साइंस फॉर योर आई सी आर पी जी एग्जामिनेशन सो वेन एवर वी आज दिस क्वेश्चन एवरीबडी से दैट वॉट एवर योर इंटरेस्ट इज यू चूज दैट सब्जेक्ट बट इट इज़ नॉट अ वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड आंसर एज यू ऑल नो दैट आवर इंटरेस्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट काइंड ऑफ कंडीशन वी हैव बिन एंड वेरियस फैक्टर्स सो आई एम हेयर टू गिव यू अ क्लियर ऑप्शन एंड एंड टू क्लियर योर माइंड basically uh, the options we have is very limited animal science and veterinary science we have the two choices which uh, which will uh, take us to the new future that we are building so uh, this uh, uh, this choice is really very important for uh, making our future bright so uh, let's discuss one by one so if you want to become uh, it depends on your goal actually so if you want to become like a assistant professor or if you want to go in a government job then which option should you choose and if you want to open a clinic then which option should you choose so it depends on your goal like for example if i tell you that if you want to become assistant professor and you will ask me sir which option should i choose veterinary science animal science so i will tell you that choose the subjects which are which are actually deficient in the number of students because like subjects like veterinary anatomy subjects like livestock products and technology subjects like veterinary extension in which the number of students are less so your chances of becoming a assistant professor will increase because there is less competition in pg and phd also there are very less candidates so if your goal is to become assistant professor so you should think like this that which field is better for me but if you have specific interest in some subjects like do you like animal nutrition do you like veterinary surgery are you passionate about veterinary medicine so if you have a passion then it is a very easy choice for you to pick that subject but if you don't have passion you don't know what to do or which field is better for you then there is a lot of confusion so if you want to go in government job specifically i'm talking about so if you want to go in government job animal science subjects are considered to be better why because the government job uh, whenever you give a interview or something like that then they will ask you the questions from management how you will manage uh, manage your area and how you will so all these uh, questions are related with the management mainly the questions are related with management of livestock and how you will manage them how you will feed them so our animal science subjects consist of that so it will be a, a good choice to choose animal science subjects if you want to go in government sector if you want to go in private sector a private clinic then you should choose uh, like uh, Uh, veterinary science because it will actually help you the masters in veterinary science will actually help you in getting a job in private vet uh, in private clinics private veterinary clinics so it will be a better choice if you choose veterinary science subjects if you want to go in clinics it is a simple choice if you want to go in clinics choose the subjects related to clinics subjects like veterinary pathology microbiology should be choose should be uh, taken by a uh, taken by a uh, student only when he or she wants to go in either research or in academics or either she want to go in uh, abroad for practicing then she can choose uh, a subject like veterinary pathology or veterinary microbiology otherwise there is no use of choosing the uh, those subjects because it will be a waste of time of you because if you work for two or three uh, three years in uh, actually in field also then you will get more knowledge than doing a masters degree so it's a tough choice whether to go in masters degree or to choose a two or three year experience in actually a real job a private job which one of the following will give you more knowledge sorry for my bad english but uh, i am trying to cover all the audience has comments have been con- coming that you should talk in english because south people are also there north people are uh, people are also watching you so therefore <laughs> therefore you can see my bad english so uh, so we were talking about government jobs if you want to go in government job specifically animal science offers you a better choice because uh, the subjects you will study the things you will study will actually help you in answering the interview questions and also if you check the government examination papers the veterinary assistant surgeon papers the upsc ifs papers number of questions from the animal science are always higher than the veterinary sciences so if you study the animal sciences it will be a better choice to crack 
the government job easily because the number of questions that will be coming from animal senses will be much much higher in cases of the government jobs so uh, in veterinary sciences also there is a scope as i have personally chosen animal science so i am talking from my perspective a guy from veterinary sciences will tell that they have a better scope in clinics they have a better scope in uh, entrepreneurship because they can open their own clinics and uh, also they have a better scope and overall lifestyle is totally doctor related and you are doing all the treatment stuff surgeries medicines you are prescribing medicines you are actually a true veterinarian so uh, if you want to really uh, if you are really passionate about working with animals if you really like to go in clinics and work for long hours you don't feel any pain when you work for long hours for uh, for the kindness of animals then you should go for veterinary sciences the scope that i am talking about the goal which you have in mind and if you want to become a assistant professor if you want to become uh, like uh, some officer like many examinations are there like itbp bsf rvc ssb there are many many examinations after pg after phd you can even go in research also so think about that think all the aspects i will tell you one pro tip that talk to as many as veterinarians as you can during your internship time because that will clearly open your mind talk to those seniors which are actually working and which are actually getting the salaries ask them their salaries what are they doing what are uh, what is the actual work that they have to do and what uh, what is their life like what are what is the changes in their lifestyle after the degree how are they working out so this all things will clear your mind this one youtube video will not clear your mind so this is my uh, last advice that talk to as many as uh, seniors as you can because they are the most uh, uh, most knowledgeable person that you can have and uh, that is my last advice so basically i have uh, tried to clear it down as much as possible if you want to go in animal science from my perspective then it is better choice because uh, it will uh, it will give you more chances to shift your field also if after doing the uh, pg in medical uh, sorry if after doing the pg in animal sciences you want to go in something like management field or something like mba then it is very easy for you to do it but after doing pg in veterinary sciences if you want to go in mba then it will be a total shift from the uh, spectrum so uh, thank you so much i think so this was this was my point of view and uh, let me know in the comments what do you feel about the choices this is a very tough choice that we have to face i think so the vci should change this type of regulations because only two choices is not enough actually for veterinary because there are many subjects which are uh, which are not being considered as important as they should be like veterinary public health they have a huge huge scope in the coming future but uh, till now the veterinary field is not taking it seriously the veterinary public health department so this type of subjects like veterinary extension these are the subjects which are actually having a good future so you can choose this type of uh, this type of uh, uh, this type of subjects from a good institute the institute matters the most actually because the guide you will get the kind of professors you have they will actually impact your study not actually the uh, the subject you choose because they can build interest in you like when i chose uh, uh, for my personal experience when i chose the animal nutrition i didn't have much interest in that actually i scored much less marks in ug in ug time i used to score like uh, 60 to 70 percent in animal nutrition, but I chose it as my major subject in the post graduation. But uh, after learning about it uh, around 1.5 years, now I am having a huge interest in animal nutrition. So you can also build interest during the time of post graduation. It is not a thing that you should be interested from the first day itself. You you could give time to your degree to grow and to grow your interest into it. so uh, this is my point of view thank you so much for watching till the end and i hope so that some things out of this will remain into your mind and talk to seniors talk to most of the seniors as you can who are working actually in the field not to the ones in the in your uh, college only because they also don't know anything 
talk to them who are actually working in the field and uh, try to get the contact have a chat with them how are they feeling and what is the family conditions like and uh, is there any work life balance between them because i have seen many veterinarians are getting exploited in the field they are working for 7 8 9 10 hours and they are not getting any good salaries so uh, this all things should be considered before choosing the fields like veterinary science or animal sciences thank you so much for watching the video i think so uh this was a very long video i thought that it would be 5 minutes but it got 10 minute thank you so much for watching the video till the end